How's it going guys? It's Matt. So I want to do a little update on my cucumber plant. So if you guys have seen my past videos, it was growing up all over these bushes and just taking over. The, there wasn't much guidance for it to grow anywhere. It had totally uh, overgrown its bin that it's growing in. And so uh, I just put these uh, two rods in the back of the bin in the dirt, put some string across them very simply, and then, um, you know, I encouraged it to grow onto it but today you know I came out and I actually basically cut all of the little tentacles that grab on to the bush and uh, I kind of reorganized re the plant up onto the scaffolding so it will have something to hang on to and uh, it's got a few small cucumbers on it that could develop into something we'll see how they go um, I'm just happy that <laughs> these bushes aren't getting suffocated anymore and uh, the plant itself, I think, uh, I've already seen some bees on it. I think it's m better aerated. It's less, you know, uh, all over itself. So I think it'll do better in this position and I'll get more cucumbers and, you know, it can grow a little bit more. And, uh, you know, one thing I, I want to give you guys a tip about uh, growing squash or, you know, cucumbers, anything of that similar nature. I've noticed that they're very susceptible to mold when the humidity is high. So one thing I would suggest doing is going through and, and, you know, if you look at it, oh, it looks very green, you don't see any dead leaves, but, um, you know, if you look down here, these are all the leaves that, you know, I trimmed out today that, you know, were dying or just, you know, had been gnawed on from, you know, insects. So um, they grow very vigorously and very fast, so you want to cut it so that you know you keep the healthiest leaves and the the things that you want to have the growth go, go towards you know you don't want you know all these parasitic sickly leaves taking up resources from the plant so um, and another thing is you know I try to keep you know uh, where the bin is in there I try not to let it get too dense I try to keep it you know the aeration going again to keep down the mold issues and um, so far it's been doing decent for the summer here. We've had a lot of rain um, and it hasn't gotten killed by mold yet. I've been reapplying fertilizer every two weeks and Epsom salt every three weeks. I did it twice during the, the, the storm time to uh, make sure they didn't get flushed of their nutrients just because, you know, their pots so all that rain's going to literally like wash out the fertilizer. So I add a little bit extra just to keep them boosted and their immune systems up because a lot of times, you know, if the plants get flush of their nutrients, their immune system goes down and then they get susceptible to parasites and diseases and then, you, you know, your plants are dying. You know, um, for example, these tomatoes are still fighting off, you know, they're doing a lot better. They're starting to take off now that the rain's lightened up a little bit. I haven't even watered them yet. I've still just been letting them grow off of the, you know, the rainwater. Uh, you can see there's a little bit of blight uh, on parts of it. I'm going to trim this this piece off. Uh, you can see right there that that tomato has some rot on it from all the water and the humidity and the stress that they've gone through recently. Peppers are doing great, obviously. They're handling this fine. But so anyways, um, this is what I did with my cucumber plant. You know, I got it reorganized. Uh, I'm happy with it. You know, the... the trellis could be a lot better but you know I made it in like two minutes so I don't really care and now the plant is at least organized it looks good hopefully I'll get some cucumbers off of it soon and yeah so uh, let me know what you guys are up to and how your plants are doing this is just a little a sneak peek into what I'm doing a little update so yeah thanks enjoy